Well, our first mission was the only time we had Japanese opposition. And we flew a flew of the Celebes and they had Japanese air. We bombed the air, air base and after that we never had any opposition. I was at Penn State at the time and they, uh, and they came through recruiting. And so I joined right away. I was 17, I was going to turn 18 in a month. So I figured, great, I'll join the Air Force and see what happens. But uh, that avoided the draft. When we got through the test, they assigned you to a, to a group. Up to that time, I had no idea what I was going to do. I was just taking tests, of physical and mental tests, and waiting to tell me what to do. So I got the news that I was going to be a pilot. That was great. Well, we went to the, the Dutch East Indies. Mortai was Dutch East Indies. And all the action was up above in, in the Philippines and uh, Japanese itself. And so we were kind of a, a lonesome piece of the service. And that's a piece that you never hear about. So we flew a uh, few missions down there. And it, uh, the objective was to get the Japanese out of the Dutch East Indies. We did a lot of bombing, but we never had any any interception at all. We had ended the Japanese air base. Before the war ended, the squadron would save all their cigarettes. They'd pack them up, and then at, when they got a whole bunch, you'd get in an airplane and fly to Australia with all the uh, cigarettes and they'd trade that for, for food. So I, I was a senior pilot at that time, so I got the job, they dropped the food off, and started back, of course it's a long flight, we landed in New Guinea, and the night we landed in New Guinea is the night the Japanese surrendered. So I woke up in the middle of the people were shooting and carrying on, I thought the Japanese were invading us. And here we were celebrating the fact that uh, we'd won the war. <laughs> 